quick therm insulation technologies are engineered to provide a cold compliant vapor and radon barrier all in one easy to install durable system. When integrating quick therm into a building's radon barrier strategy, close attention to sealing techniques in areas such as insulation joints, pipes, and protrusions, as well as interfaces at wall locations is mandatory to ensure proper functioning of the overall system. The installation of a typical radon barrier system begins with the application of a layer of radon rock over the entire floor area. A layer of quick therm SGI is installed over the radon rock with cuts made to accommodate pipes and protrusions. All insulation joints are sealed using a proof tape to prevent the ingress of radon and moisture in these areas. To seal around pipes, an engineered shield system is installed which fits snug around the pipe and has a flange which is taped to the insulation to complete the radon barrier in these areas. Be sure to select the proper size shield system, ensuring a tight fit around the pipe is achieved, and use only a proof tape around the flange. Seal around all other protrusions through the insulation layer using a proof tape and sealants. These areas may be tougher to seal due to their irregular shape. As such, it is important that a liberal amount of tape and sealants are used as required to ensure a proper seal. To complete the radon barrier at the walls, an 18 inch wide strip of poly is first installed around the perimeter of the wall, taping it to the insulation using a proof tape. The opposite side of the poly will eventually be sealed to the wall's air barrier and is temporarily taped to the concrete wall while the slab is poured. It is important to leave enough excess poly above the finished slab for tying into the wall air barrier system. After the slab is installed and cured, the poly is laid flat on the concrete and the radon barrier is completed by applying a liberal bead of fast curing Adbond 5692 adhesive behind the poly around the entire perimeter of the wall at slab level. Conventional interior walls are built on top of the poly and the air barrier system is completed by sealing the poly to the wall's air barrier system for a tight seal at floor level. This easy yet highly effective system can be used for both unheated and heated concrete slabs paying close attention to sealing details around the slab and foundation perimeter. When incorporating QuickTherm's CIS wall system, a tight radon seal is achieved by first extending the CIS wall panels down to the SGI and taping the joint with a proof tape. The CIS panels are sealed to the foundation at the top of the wall using a proof sealant to prevent the flow of air behind the panels. The CIS base gasket and framing system is installed on top of the concrete slab. In all cases, after the slab has been installed, additional ad seal sealant is applied around all protrusions to ensure a proper seal has been achieved in these areas. For more information, visit quicktherm.com.